When we conceive a character, we always start with the weapon. And the kite shield brings some opportunities that none of the bucklers and smaller shields that we have in the game afford. Black Prior can use the kite shield to really push around enemies, throw them over top of him or her, and dominate the battlefield. One of the strengths of For Honor is really the mix of dual fighting and team play and team-based game mode. That's something that's always important when we design a character, but it's not that easy. So that's why he's really good at counter-attacking, he's really good at absorbing damage. He's also good at helping his teammates to absorb damage. It was important to us to add a new heavy hero to the game. We're very cognizant of what are the existing heroes in the game, what are the roles that they kind of fulfill in 4v4 modes, and try to make something that's unique, where its weapon, or weapon combination in this case, sword and shield, can really get a chance to feel unique and do something that no one else on the battlefield can do. The focus there was on a bulwark counter. This is a specialized piece of the Black Prior kit. We want it to be strong, we want it to be awesome. And when you hit, we want you to be more than satisfied. We want it to be viable in 1v2 situations. So we try to build all that. At the same time, how do you do a move that strong that beats normal attacks, unblockable attacks, melee attacks, and even beats two of them coming at the same time without making it absurdly OP? So there we tried to say, well, OK, so the thing that's going to beat it is guard break. Uh, there we feel that inherently the move has a weakness and a danger to using it, while it has a huge upside for the times that you do successfully connect it. We want to add more backstory and more depth into uh, every aspect of the hero, into the voices, into the customization, into even the way he moves and so on. So we want to continue to build that world and flesh it out. And the hero are the central piece of that world. We want to include the actions of our player and our community, the backstory of the game. We want to acknowledge that. And one of the, the main tools that we have at our disposal is the, is the faction. We looked back at last year, faction was, that was a really important battle where the knights hold a specific location and they never lost it. Our explanation of it is because Black Briars were there. When we receive the story, the words become images in our mind, and this is where we start creating and coming up with keywords of the elements that we feel interesting to uh, represent in the, uh, in the sketches. We wanted to have a hero that, yeah, he might have done wrong things in the past. You know, he's fighting kind of like for the good guy, at least from the, from the knight perspective, but he has a background. I try to imagine and project in my mind if I see the hero coming towards me, what kind of emotion I would like to feel. And for Vortiger, uh, we want to have something that is mysterious. I wouldn't like to feel comfortable seeing this guy. And for this guy, for the male, we have, um, he's got this strange makeup, but you can imagine uh, Vortiger killing you with a big smile, a little bit like the Joker. Where the female with her gothic look, she's gonna slay you, but with uh, no smile, with the beauty of a black widow. I think the theme of the Black Prior uh, going into something that is a bit more dark, more gloomy, helped us to find some really nice themes to project onto those shields. And the shields are great for that because it's a, it's a big surface, a big canvas. So in gameplay, when you hit the selection screen, you are going to choose a Black Prior archetype. Narratively, we take a look at Vortiger, but we also know about Urzabet who is the female dark warrior recruited by Vortiger into the Black Priors. Every day, every week, every month, we are doing something new. We are doing something new to improve the experience of Fauna. And more importantly, that new element, we get to test it and collect feedback and see the player reaction. And we just can continue to make cool stuff and see how it's, uh, it behaves and how it evolves the game. And that's really, really cool. Of course, I love working on new heroes. The whole fight team loves to work on new heroes. It creates a higher skill ceiling for the whole game in that now there's a new matchup for you to understand. So for us, 
Everybody loves working on, on new heroes. I mean, this is the crown jewel for the fight team. We love doing this kind of thing. Yeah.